have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Uh, friend. Okay, so this is to my Filipino friends and family there in the Philippines, and also the expats, the foreigners and Americans. They can relate to this. I want to show you this. This is an awesome machine. I want to just show you how this works. So this is a scanner. I paid five hundred and about fifty dollars for this. The reason I got it because it's a fax machine, and what it does. These guys are really intrigued because they're electronic people and technology people. The cool thing about it is you can do 50 pages at once, facts. Not instantly, but what I mean is you can put a stack of 50 pages in there and push, you know, send, and it'll actually feed all 50 pages. So I used it for real estate transactions. It's also a color copier. So you put, you know, your page in there, it's a color copier. And it has this nice tray where it comes out here, it's several different kinds of feeds. But check this out right here it has all of the different SD card reader slots plus it has a USB slot so you can have your pictures on USB or on SD card right out of your camera and you don't need a computer to operate this printer and what's also cool is it prints out the page and then after it prints it out you can put the you can check mark you can check each picture you want and then you put it back on the scanner and it'll pop out just the pictures that you checked. That's pretty cool, huh? Yeah. So it's 500 some dollars. Now there's a few things that I want to say here. And this is where you come in. Just hold the camera just like this. Okay? For the foreigners out there, have you ever noticed that when you send things, I love the Philippines, okay? So please don't get me wrong, guys. I'm doing this with all fairness to everybody involved. When we send things to the Philippines uh, from here, um, it's interesting. When someone doesn't pay for something, they don't understand the value. They don't appreciate it. Things get destroyed and ruined. Okay. Uh, I'm not judging anybody. I'm just saying the facts. So how many foreigners have experienced sending a new chainsaw, a new boat engine, or a new copy machine, or a new camera, or a new cell phone, or anything, uh, especially machinery with engines and stuff like that, and they are completely ruined you you get there a couple years from the time you sent it to to not only see the wonderful things you sent but also to use them and they're completely destroyed and you wonder what happened you know a um, few things so so I started putting prices on these things and thinking well if I put the price people will know that it's a big price and so they'll take better care of it the higher the price the better care of it no, that's not what works. It was explained to me that it's very offensive. Let's go this way a little bit. It's very offensive to put a price tag on things. They think, is what they've explained to me, I say they, I'm talking about Filipino, not all Filipino people, but a certain percentage of Filipino people that have um, explained this to me, they have the opinion that I'm trying to brag about the fact that I have lots of money and I spent a lot of money for that and that's a good thing and that makes me bigger and uh, and they already know I have lots of money so it makes them feel offended uh, and so then they treat it even worse so I don't know what the deal is all I know is when I send nice things over there to the Philippines they get destroyed I, whether it's a new copier, new printer, something like that a uh, new printer that I have in Manila that uh, we, we got for the office had a nail file and a cuticle remover put down inside and was just destroyed, brand new one. Anyway, so I thought this machine is in perfect condition, it works good, I could send it to the Philippines. And what do you think would happen? I had laptops there that were uh, destroyed. I had a boat two years later. It was completely garbage and destroyed. Now, mind you, they don't have to be destroyed. If they're put in plastic, if they're kept safe, if diesel was put on the boat, it could have been fine in two years, but it had snails and, and mold and all this stuff. So I thought, you know, I could just make a video and hopefully it'll go viral. I can just do something really special with this thing take a perfectly good copier, I could show, I could send it to the Philippines and then have a heartbroken experience and get there and it's destroyed. Or I could donate it to someone here or a friend, or I could use it, you, or, oh, he wants it. <laughs> or, or, or I can just, and, and, and this is totally outside of my character, guys. I am a very loving, compassionate, gentle guy. But 
also, I'm kind of a hoarder. I don't like to get rid of things, especially if I paid money for it. And I paid good money. I paid cash at Staples for this thing. So I, I thought, you know, as much as I hate to do this, I'm just going to do it. <laughs> I'm not angry. Okay, I am not angry. Did I just do that? I, think I just did that. Perfectly good machine. Oh, the ink cartridges are still good. Get those SD cards out of the way. There. Okay, now I don't have to worry about breaking my heart and being completely destroyed in the Philippines. I don't have to worry about shipping it there. Uh. And I don't have to worry about stumbling and tripping over it in my bedroom because I have so much stuff in there. So again, how many expats, how many foreigners have experienced this and can relate? Just comment below. Do thumbs up if you think it's a good idea, what I did. And for the Filipinos, I hope that it'll also teach you a lesson that foreigners and us Americans and myself included love to send gifts. We just want them to be taken care of. And I hope you understand that this could have gone to the Philippines. It could have been used in perhaps even ministry or for some good cause. But what's the point if they're not taken care of? It has to be covered with plastic. It has to be taken care of. Uh, so that's it. God bless. Again, I'm not a destructive person. I'm only doing this because now I'm going to get some views. And I'm going to make probably enough... Uh, communication and stuff going on whatever it is in in conversations uh we got an interruption here but it's okay guys um i just i just have this feeling that i i'm now i i'm relieved i don't have to worry i don't have to worry about this anymore because it's no longer in existence this will never work again ever i'm sure it won't would you like it now jed i'll give it to you i'll give it to john bond john bond I'm That's sure he might want to idea. save it. John Vaughn could fix it up. He would probably love it. Okay, thank you guys. God bless. Love you. And please comment below and tell me if you think I'm completely crazy because um, I'd like to hear your comments. Bye-bye. And who's your favorite camera guy? Yeah. Okay. You got it off? No. No? You don't have it off? Okay, let's get this. Clean up, John! What I mean is you can put a...